Talk to me about the economy. Talk to me about the economy. Well, well, well. Oh, so good until it wasn't. Here we go. Okay, can you see all that? It's like a roller coaster ride on the wild mouse. Do you guys remember the wild mouse? It was this rickety roller coaster that they would put in, in small carnivals. And oh my God, it scared the crap out of me because I thought I was going to die every time I got on it. I thought the, the cars were just going to fall off. They were so wobbly. Anyway, the economy. So, um, new starts, new uh, financial beginnings. It's a, it's the plan has already been in in place, and they're kind of moving along. But now they're going. Here's the plan, and it's really new, inexperienced, um, immature. I don't want to say immature but I did. Um, it, it's, it's young energy being crossed by strength. So even though this plan, the economy plan, whatever that is, it's, it's being covered by strength, just showing, yes, we've got it. We've got it. And there is um, working together, and it's like a little bit of a celebration with this Three of Cups here. In the past, we want to go back to the past um, with the Six of Cups. The top of the reading, it's still going to take a lot of hard work. Yeah, we didn't know that already. Everything we knew here up until this card, and that's in the near future, and... It's winning at any cost and it's loss. It's a loss. So, guys, when um, I, I've had some, um, you know, I've had some readings that, uh, and I'm still doing my two free um, a week. Send me an email and um, and I'll put you on the list and I will get to you when I can. Okay, so... Um, I'm not booked up too, too much in the future. A little bit. But I'll let you know when you send me an email. At uh, shaysfoolstarot.com It's in the, it's in the, about me or whatever. Um, anyway, so, and, and, and we're hearing a lot of stories about how people are making more money now than they were when they were working because of all the subsidies and stimulus money and and COVID money and things like that. And my redneck Republican hillbilly brother, he's going, oh my God, we're turning into, a, and I can talk like that because that's my real voice. Oh my God, we're turning into a socialist country. Took me years of training to get that accent out of my head. Um, and I think, you know, just my opinion here, you know, I think it's it's really good and that's what's keeping the economy going. You're giving people more money than they had when they were working so they get to spend more so the economy looks better. Because um, I got to tell you, I don't understand this economy. Yeah, I mean, the stock market keeps going up. We got 14 million people unemployed. It's the highest unemployment. How does... But I do know that card. That's a loss card. So while we're in this space where everything seems to be going good, don't be spending a lot of money on things that maybe you don't need Watch your budget. Watch watch the cash. Try to save some. Um, because there may be some hard times coming on. You know what? Let's just... Let me just pull... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna pull more on that because I don't know about you, but I like eating. I like having food on my table. I like having a roof over my head. Um, and so many people are struggling. And if they cut that um, subsidy out and, and not give it to people, then what's the economy going to do? And, you know, how, as a nation, how are we going to pay for it? You know, I tell you what. I would not want to be the new administration trying to figure this stuff out. Oh, my God. And I worry about um, Mr. Biden. And, you know, as as a elderly man, see how good I can pick my words? Um, instead of saying as an old fart, as an elderly... Did I just say that out loud? Sorry. As an elderly man who should be having grandkids bounce on his knees, and now he's working, he's running the United States with all of the stuff that the previous administration administration has done. There's so much to fix. And I, I know for a fact he's bringing in good people. I say that every election. Well, I think he'll bring in some really good people. Uh, Said that about Bush. Okay. Wrong. Um, uh, I even said that about Trump. Well, I think he'll bring in some really good people. I mean, talk's a good game, but that's that's just him being a real estate knucklehead uh, guy. Sorry. Sorry. Light worker. That's no good. Um, so, uh, the economy in the future. Let's go with that. Economy in the future. Sorry, I was... And one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The economy in the future. I'm just going to do six cards. Struggling. Second. The winding. Third. Wow. Nine. Four. Okay. I'm going to do three more. Let me let me tell you where your money's going. Whoop. Come on now. There we go. I'm not so sure I like this new video thing. We'll see. All right. Month number one. Uh, we're still balancing. We're still... You know, we're doing okay, especially with this card. It's not like the fountain deck where the guy is underwater juggling two coins. Um, we're still trying to um, find the equilibrium, but look at all this water. It, it's still very emotional, so we're still not there yet. The second month, I think we're still going to see... Um, I, I think the, the, the stimulus packages are going to be... Um, um, re-voted in or, or put back into place again. And so people are going to go, woohoo, yay, thank you, thank you. And again, that's, you know, they're going to be spending more money. And um, um, so that's good. Me, when I got my check, it was just like, it was like, yeah. Okay, I mean, I don't get it every month. I just got one lump sum, and uh, it was very appreciative. Um, I did spend it, not all of it, so I'm not part of that group that is spending money. Um, anyway, um, I'm glad I didn't put it in any Facebook shares. Uh, Nine of Chalices. So we're going to be getting some news coming in, but it's still a wild ride. Look at this guy. It's still a wild, crazy ride that we're on. Um, the fourth month, it's going to be, we're going to try to pull a rabbit out of our hat. Uh, and maybe we do. Maybe the magician does uh, create something out of nothing. Because I truly think our economy is nothing right now. And maybe he will create something out of nothing because the next card has this 
working very hard at it. It's the Prentice card. Um, this deck doesn't show any dark money, um, even though it may be left over from other decks and, and other meanings of the Three of Pentacles. But this is him just working hard. Uh, there's a little bit of rubble, but you got these flowers coming up in the green. He's he's making it happen. Um, but then you got the Four of Swords. So whatever um, four, five, and six month is, um, even though it looks like things are going well, hang on to the fourth month um, because there's there's going to be some downtime again. Um, we've got news in the seventh um, seventh month. Oh, guess what? Guess what that news is? New administration. We have us making grapes and wine. Woohoo! Coming together, working together. And we are moving on to calmer waters. So, six of swords. So I, I, I think that, you know, it's not going to be horrible. Um, I don't see any death. I don't see any um, tower moments. But I do see that Four of Swords. I do see this wild ride. Um, and the Six of Swords says we're not out of it. We are going to be moving into calmer waters. So we're in rough waters here moving someplace quite, uh, calmer. So it's it's not all doom and gloom, but it's it's not all rosy either. Okay, I'm going to pause this and, and take a look at my notes because I've been yakking, 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 yakking. Feeling good today. Feeling good. Okay, going down the rabbit hole a little bit. I hope I didn't ask this the first one. Um, we're going to talk about Maxwell. And um, again, it's going to be kind of lightning roundish because just because I don't like to live in that energy, stay in that energy too long. Um, Maxwell is, she's scared, is, um, is she going to be okay? Is she going to be safe um, in jail? Is she going to be safe in jail? Strength being crossed by Page of Cups. She's got information. At the base of it, it can come out fast and furious, this information. And, I'm sorry, what is that? Uh, Knight of Wands is in the past. Knight of Wands is in the past. And again, with this card... He's just looking over his shoulder. And that's what she was doing. Looking over her shoulder all the time. Um, nine of coins at the top of the reading. You know, and that's, I think that's who she was. The nine of coins. She had all this money, this power. She enjoyed the lavish life. In the Ace of Cups. No emotional starts. Is she going to have the come to Jesus moment in prison? I think she's going to be okay in prison. I don't think she's going to end up like Jeffrey Epstein. So. So. How many powerful people 
how many powerful people are shaking in their boots right now. Is she going to bring down some powerful people? I heard yes. That jumped out. That was too many, but I'm just going to... Yes. Feeling alone. Yes, out in the snow and the cold. With new information coming out. Queen of Wands. And working together. The Three of Wands. And again in this deck. There, it, it's it's uh, she's going to be offered some kind of deal. You tell us something. You tell us something. The big queen of wands and the page of wands, and um, you can you can. You know, we'll do something for you. We'll keep you alive. We'll cut you a deal. So I think they're going to cut her a deal and people are... Let's go a little deeper down the rabbit hole. We'll... So I was going to go, will anybody in the Trump administration and... Go down, and it, I'm thinking yes. Was Bill, let me just ask it this way, because this keeps popping into my head. Was Bill Barr, did he, did he know Epstein? Did he go to Epstein's island or any of his properties? Talk to me about Bill Barr and Epstein. Did they know each other? Or is this just a Trump thing? Oof. Queen of Wands again. Crossed by the reverse star. Don't I straighten that card out? At the bottom? Ooh. Hanging on tight to things. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Let me drop this down so you guys can see. Whoop. Strength. Hang on, Bill Barr. Queen of Cups. Justice. I'm, not, I'm just going to keep going with this just a wee bit. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Queen of Coins, and the Sun. Loneliness, Dark Information, Vast Truth, and the Fountain Card. So, my take on did Bill Barr know Jeffrey Epstein, and will that come out? It's going to come out. You got the Queen of Wands here that is going to bring out some information. Um, it's being crossed by he was a star in some circles before, <laughs> and it's reversed, so his star is falling. He is keeping things really tight to the chest, the Six of Coins. Um, He's going to need to draw on all his strength, but that's in the past. He have justice in the near future, so it's not looking good for him. Um, you have the Sun card up here, too. So, I just don't think it, it it's going to be illuminated that he was. He's going to feel, well, this is the base of the deck. There's information that's being hidden. The Page of Swords is going to bring out the truth. And then you have the fountain. 
I just looked at this and I remembered. This kind of looks like the Twilight Zone where they imprison people in space. You know, and then I guess Superman movies took that over. And Anyway. Okay, Bill Barr. I think he's mixed up in that stuff too. And that's why he's keeping a lid on it. And we know Trump is, because he's got pictures of him. And we also know that he is because he denied it. So you really can't believe anything that he, that, that he says, which is, you know, if he would tell the truth a couple of times, then, you know, that, then you'd have questions. But the, the guy always lies. So it, it's, it, at least in my opinion which makes it really hard for me to um, listen to him and figure if he's telling us the truth. Whatever he says, I take the opposite of it. So, let me pause again and look at my car, my, my, my sheet. Okay, hang on. All right, I could keep going, but because I read when I'm standing, my knees are getting sore. So, uh, thank you all again for watching, and um, be safe out there. Appreciate you all. Peace and love.